know, I don't like the light back there. I don't like the light back there. Where's my dunk in that? Ah, there we go. There we go. Can I grab it? Damn. No water. Oh my god. Well, this live is turning out great. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm just getting my little A little cafecito. I know I should have been more prepared, but you know, hey, usually the room don't really fill up until a minute or so into the live, right? So it's all right. It's okay. Plus, you get to see me in my element. I'm just doing Rockies right here. Hey, get out of here. Move. I just woke up. I got lagañas in my eyes. The little crunch, crispy, crispy crunchies in my eyes. This is what I'm putting in my coffee. That zero sugar cinnamon roll. I gotta get some more of this junk. But I did take all your voting into consideration. And I pretty much just listed everything on that poll of like pretty much everything I wanted. <laughs> all right, so I hate reading comments on here. Um, big us from Dallas. Oh, damn, Texas. Um, let me just log on to uh oh my god i do not look cute in here wow man, man i look greasy my i got my little four eye glasses on let me log on here all right where am i at i like to watch the live from my love at first bite vlog channel because it's just easier that way it promotes my vlog channel which i don't do anything on and i can kind of be in the chat with you guys and i have my laptop right here so i can kind of look at him ah oh, big gucci stays in my stuff man i don't need let me find out we friends or something and or co-workers or, or something and I, and I don't even know you evie's working you know Dion, what up? Josh is here. Teresa's here. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm just going to say hi on here. Hello. Everybody, go subscribe to my uh, <laughs> vlog channel. Even though I don't do anything on it. Oh, I have waffles. Look at this. Look at that. They're good, straight up just like this. They're like the best waffles. It's crazy too because living down south, you just get used to eating pancakes and waffles and stuff. Either you make yourself or you go to like a chain restaurant. And there's some mom and pop places obviously. Good, good mom and pop places too. But um, almost everywhere you go here in New York is on mom, mom and pop. How do they afford the rent? Don't ask me. Trina in the building. How you doing, mama? Okay, let me just move this because I need some space for my wolfle. For my wolfle. And you can't even see the food. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? It's a 
It's a horrific situation here. I'm just putting some butter, butter on this junk with the spoon that I had to mix my coffee with. <laughs> I woke up today feeling good about my day off. I deserve it. And uh, I'm trying to get better at really living in the moment and, and kind of just enjoying the time for myself. Because almost every time I have a day off, some sorope, it turns into just a countdown to when I got to go back to work. Oh my God, let me, let me show you this pour, yo. Let me show you this pour. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I asked for extra butter, extra syrup, because one of these is not enough for one of these. And they gave me three of these. So, let's go in here. Obviously, I gotta lift up my plate. I don't, I, I don't like doing lives. To me, lives are all about comfort. I don't want to set up the, the the wooden box I have right here then to like, you know, set up the, the cutting board and then to set up the food nicely for all y'all and blah, 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 blah. Oh, look at that though. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, the roll time. Mmm. You know, I had a person say that to me. I had a person say roll tie to me here in New York. Whipped cream on waffles is delicious. Mmm. Teresa, thank you for that question. I, um, I've always been weird about talking about what I do for a living. Um, I, I've been thinking lately about being honest and just saying what I do. Um, I don't know. Respectfully, I'm not ready to say what I do. Um, I was a nurse for the longest time. And then I moved to a different position that surprisingly is a company that I never thought I would work for. I never thought I would work for and has many programs in place where you can be certified on many levels. Um, and not levels of their their establishment but levels worldwide and um i did that i got certified in a certain skill and i make good money it's crazy you know it's, you know i'm 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 diving let me dive into something else real quick it's crazy how the honorable jobs like nursing, doctor, like, uh, well, not doctor, but because doc doctors make money. Um, nurses, firemen, you know, all these like honorable jobs um, don't get the, the pay that they deserve because the company I work for right now, I would have never thought this place would pay me more than my nursing job. And I surprisingly love it. So, but anyways, um, I'm actually gonna make a whole video because I'm th I'm thinking about talking about what I do now. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'll make a video soon talking about what I do for a living and all that stuff. And some of y'all even know. Some of y'all even know. And um, you know, 
I re would respectfully love it if you guys wouldn't say it. But um, it's uh, it's kind of like a dream that I never thought. No, let me stop. <laughs> I was gonna say like a dream I never thought I had. Like no, and then my job, that job does not deserve that quote. But I do like it. I do like that job. So, anyways, but it's cool. It it allows us to. Um, thanks, Josh. I know Josh knows. Um, but uh, it, it's allowed us to do a lot of things. There's a lot of programs in it. And every time we've moved, uh, which we moved a lot from Bama to Tennessee to now New York, the company pays for it. You can transfer from spot to spot, from office to office. It's amazing. So I'm very blessed. I appreciate the question. And I didn't want to like read that question and not like answer it. You know what I mean? But I also... Didn't want to ignore it. So, Teresa. Thank you, Mama. Um, Josh, you're the best, dude. Appreciate, appreciate the friendship, homie. Um, the life compared to New York compared to down south, it's, it's, it's very different, but also, um, not the way people think it's uh i think the days of i'm gonna pass on another waffle for now because i want to get into the sandwich i think um i think people think that the south is this like safe haven where northerners there's a lot of, there, like, you know, everybody thinks, oh, dumb rednecks live down south, blah, 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 whatever. But, like, there's a lot of dumb Yankees up here, too. So there's a lot of dumb Yankees up here who who aren't, who think that, like, moving from, like, New York to Florida is, like, the best idea ever. It's like, nah, dog. It's, it's the price of living, the, the cost of living right now. And, oh, my God, this sandwich looks amazing. Oh, yeah, I got to show y'all. Before I get into it here. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is a sausage, egg, and cheese. Oh my god. On a croissant. Salt, pepper, butter. Um, the South is, is literally, depending on where you pick, and I'm assuming not all, but most people don't necessarily want to live like in the country, country out in the middle of nowhere with the, with the hicks and like all like the racism and all, you know, which you still will find in the city ish area. But a town even like Nashville, Tennessee, or Tampa, Florida, or I'll even go smaller than Florida, Kissimmee, Florida, um, all that stuff, right? The rent and the cost of living is just as high as here. No joke. Now, the way my wife and I look for apartments, we don't play around. We do not play around, yo. So we didn't just look up New York apartments and it's just like, oh, no, they're all 3 k a month. No. We were literally... On Zillow, Trulia, Street Easy, uh, all these apartment apps every day for fun. We were putting all our efforts for months and months and months on this, that, and the third. And then when we found one, it was one of those things like, can you hold it for me? You know, we don't live in New York, so it was hard to like, whatever. So let's just put it this way. I was paying $2,500 a month 
Sylvia, I'm gonna get to your question because I, 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 I have my favorite bodega, and damn, I don't know the name of it. But I, we're paying, um, no, not 25, 20. What am I saying? It was like almost 2,000 for Nashville, and then here they quoted us 21, so it was like about the same, and then they changed it because it got rent stabilized to 17. So we're paying less rent here in Manhattan than we did in Nashville. And then people say, oh, that's because you live in Spanish Harlem and it's like ghetto and hood and blah, blah. No, it's a, no. Come, come to Spanish Harlem around my block, all right, between 103 to 116. It ain't nothing but families out here. It ain't nothing but quiet. It ain't nothing but hardworking folks. It is nice out here. I'll tell you what, I felt more in danger in Nashville, in Germantown, Nashville. And Germantown's like the bougie, rich area. There's weirdos walking around and fucking... And then you ask anybody who's a native Nashville person, Germantown, Nashville used to be the hood. You know, and they gentrified the hell out of it. And now you got these poor guys out in the streets who are homeless because they were pushed out. What's up, Heather? And uh, don't or, or mentally unstable on something because of their situation. Look at this bacon, egg, and cheese. But. Other than the cost of living, if I had to compare again the South to New York, I like that I don't have a car. I have a car. We're in the middle of trying to sell it. I need... It's like they buttered it, but they ain't butter it, you know what I mean? Man, I need some hot sauce on this. I didn't ask for hot sauce. Let me get some hot sauce. I miss the food from down south. I do miss that. But it's it's kind of like a give and take. It's you know, the food in New York is amazing. You can get anything. But I will say this: the food, the groceries. Is way more expensive here than than down south. That's why a lot of people do eat out. It's it's almost like you got to be really smart with your with your food, uh, with your grocery buying. All right, I put Tabasco sauce on this, more butter. Mmm. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm sure Austin, Austin's bougie. Isn't Austin like a bougie hipster town now? So basically overall, we switched from a very big city a lot more diverse food, a lot more diverse people, lesser cost of living. Um, but it kind of evens out too with like the cost of food. Um, transportation, it's only like a hundred bucks a month because we take the train, it's unlimited rides, but you get access to any, anywhere you want to go. You know? And then from where I live to downtown, it's it's really no no time it's like 20 minutes you know so and there is a certain like not a big part of me but it's a part of me that also thinks it would have been cool to Bye. What's going on with my Wi-Fi here? My Wi-Fi cutting out. 
I know it's not cutting out on my phone, but it's cutting out on my laptop. Um, yeah, I would love to have like a bougie big old house in like Meridianville, Alabama and like have an in-ground pool and for like literally the same price that I'm paying for this small apartment here in New York. Um, but I also just feel like, I feel like I just met my wife, even though I met her back in 2013, 14, even though we had a long distance relationship for like a couple of years and then got married in 2018 and then had the wedding ceremony in 2020. Like, I know that's like, it's been about eight years now and there shouldn't be like a time frame of like, do this, do this. Like, I, I love the fact that she wanted to move to New York and and s spend time with me and experience things and do that and, as opposed to like going out to USA bumfuck and just getting a house and just, then what? And then we just, you know, barbecue every day and swim. That sounds amazing though. <laughs> Am I back? Ah, oh, here we go. I'm back. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the, the give and take. I think eventually we'll do it. And we'll do it uh, in Finland. No, I'm wrong with that, right? All right, let me jump in. I had, I had the sandwich. Did I eat? Here we go. That's the thing, like, I don't know where to go. Like, the only famous breakfast thing in New York is the bacon, egg, and cheese. And I've done, like, two of those videos. But everybody keeps telling me to go do a New York breakfast. Oh, and I've done uh, bagels and lox. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Let me look at the other one. The other one. This one's like, it's not enough guava. They literally hooked it up with the cheese instead of the guava. Oh, not this one. This one looks nice. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this joint. Guava, cheese, Danish. I, I did, dog. I did a bacon, egg, and cheese. I made my own bacon, egg, and cheese. I made a bacon, egg, that's why I said two videos. I did a bacon, egg, and cheese video that I got from the bakery down the street, and then I made my own bacon, egg, and cheese. Mmm. I will say this. Food in New York is like, it doesn't taste fake. Like when I go anywhere down south, if I'm not going to like the mom and pop joints, It's a very fake tasting product. Look at this. Look at that. It looks fire. It's, it looks sticky. And it is. Yeah, I gotta get a new laptop, y'all. My laptop is it just keeps going in and out like it keeps buffering. Okay. Alright. There's my Wi-Fi. It's not but it's not messing up on here though, right? Can anybody tell me on here if it's messing up? I don't think it is. Okay. 
Should be back on. Evie is at work. She will not be off until later on today. Let me, what, what is going on with my computer right now? I got this computer back in 2000, what was it? 2017? So it's been a minute. Harlem Biscuit? No, I've never been there. That sounds amazing. What is that? I have had the Korean hot dogs. Oh, you want me to make like my breakfast, like the cheesy eggs. I mean, I haven't done that in a minute. I hate cooking in this kitchen. Rocky's sleeping. He's on the couch. I'm sorry. I'm so dumb, you know, I went to go wash my hands because of the stickiness and I just pick it back up. Here's the thing. I understand that I have a bigger apartment than most for the price that I pay, right? I understand that. Because when I talk to y'all and folks that don't live in New York, you kind of get my point across better when I say like things like, my apartment's small and I have a small kitchen. I don't, I used to love cooking in Nashville. I used to definitely love cooking in Huntsville when I had my house. Remember that? My big, no, it wasn't a big ass house. To me, it was big. Big backyard, I decorated it. I used to grill outside, I used to cook it. I, my kitchen was awesome. And now, it's kind of like, I have a small kitchen, a small New York kitchen. I have all the amenities that I need, other than like a dishwasher and a washer and dryer, but that has nothing to do with cooking. I have a stove, I have an air fryer, I have a microwave, I have all the things I need to cook, but it's just so small in here. And there's no ventilation. You have to open a window. You have to open a window, put that fan on, face it towards that window, open up this window and the bedroom one so there's like a air tunnel so everything there's no ventilation here it's a pre-war 1905 building it's gorgeous it's beautiful but it's not set up the way that invites people to let's cook something that's why i don't like cooking in here i don't like it and i love cooking and it sucks but whenever i tell whenever i talk like this to like native New Yorkers, like a lot of my coworkers, they're just like, well, what? you better appreciate what you have. Like, nah, nah, nah. You're right. Because my apartment, for what these folks pay, a lot of my coworkers will pay like 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, um, a lot more than me. And their apartments are a lot smaller than mine. I picked it up again. We need to Hell yeah. Oh yeah. You know where I do want to go. I would like to do a live at Melba's. Melba's Southern Soul Food here in Harlem. I would love to do that. What did you say, Heather? What the fudge? It happened again, you know. My Wi-Fi. It's this laptop, though. It's, a, it's the laptop. It needs to be like... Re-something. <laughs> Oh, it's named over, the biscuits are named over famous, oh, that's cool.
I'm looking it up right now. Sorry. I am. Um, by the way, I am so proud of my fellow YouTubers that are consistently putting. Uh, oh damn! I ain't even talking about my favorite bodega. I'm glad you guys are enjoying New York. I couldn't run faster to the suburbs. <laughs> it's it's here's the thing the grass is always greener so i think in general people should travel more they should i think when you live somewhere all your life people move because they're sick of that place and, and as opposed to like i want to move because i want to try something new you know what I mean? Where like, I've been blessed enough to have really easy moving situations. And and by the way, I'm not saying like, oh, let, oh hold on, let me answer my, but my favorite bodega is the one on 110th and Lex. 110th and Lex. But it's the one, but it's the one in front of the subway station that goes uptown. That one north because there's there's two uptowns the northern one that one that's my favorite bodega because it's like i get off the i get off the train and it's right there and it has all the stuff i want um like i was saying how have your neighbors compared to my neighbors sucked in nashville by the way my wife got attacked by a pit bull uh the people were rude my neighbors in huntsville were super racist they were always watching us they kicked out Rocky. My neighbors here in this building have been nothing but nice. My neighbor right here, old Mexican dude and his family, super nice. Across, there's a couple from South Carolina, transplants like us, super nice. Downstairs, yeah, the guy's always smoking weed and blasting his music, but I don't live near him. He's a couple floors down, but he always opens the door for me when I'm coming with groceries. Everybody up in here has been nothing all my neighbors in my building have been nothing but respectful, nice. The South can swoop. But like I was saying, I feel like a lot of people should. When I was 18, I left Connecticut right away. Went to college in Arizona. Moved back. I moved to Boston. Moved to Philly. Moved all over the north. I lived in the West Coast for a little while. Um down south obviously and and it's one of those things where like there were times that i left because of something bad happening and i'm like i'm out of here but i'm glad i didn't grow up in one place for like a significant amount of you know, like 30 years 40 years in one place and i'm like i gotta get out of here da, da, da. um it's in it because i always feel like i always feel like People say, well, like what this person just said, I had to get out of there, man, go to the suburbs. Okay. Um, did you stay in this particular area for too long and all these bad things started happening and you got kind of got sick of it, so I had, you had to go? Or did you just want something cool, like something different? You know, so it's just one of those things where it's like, I moved around so often that I'm, I'm, I got so much different views on so many different things because I did that. You know, now granted, did I stay down south longer than usual? Yeah, I should have left the south a long time ago. Um, but it's one of those things where New York to me is like, the, the I'm super happy right now. I love New York City. I'm at it. I am the wrong person to talk about, you know, anything negative in New York because I've, I'm, I am on cloud nine right now when it comes to New York. I back up New York so much right now. There is nothing nobody can say that, oh, don't you hate this? Don't you? No, I don't. I love the subway. I haven't seen any violence. Not, not And I'm not saying there isn't. I haven't seen any violence in the subway. And I take the subway three times a day. I haven't seen any violence in the streets. And I'm outside all the time. We outside. I love my job. I love my apartment. The, the cost of living here is great. Uh, the people are super polite. My neighbors are great. The food is amazing. Um, in the neighborhood I live in is quiet, uh, is everywhere is dog friendly. 
it's just one of those things where like I don't know, I don't understand. Oh, and I've noticed that the people that usually hate on New York are people that have been through horrific situations. And here's my thing. You're gonna go through horrific situations because you are going through horrific situations. Not because the city did it to you. Horrific situations happen anywhere. And you're just living your life. So whether we stayed in, in Nashville for a year and a half and my wife loves dogs, loves dogs. And she's never been attacked by a dog ever. And she's lived in Ireland, she lived in Finland, she lived in Alabama, she lived in Tennessee. Nothing's ever happened. And she got attacked in Nashville. So it's one of those things where it's like, it's not the city, it's, it's the situation that happened to you. And then we put that with the city and we think like, oh, if I moved, so, so now that you move to the suburbs, like nothing bad's gonna happen there. Like shit happens, yo. Shit happens to people in the suburbs too. So it's one of those things where it's like, I don't, I don't try to hate on a, a certain particular area because of that area. I just try to like give it the benefit of the doubt. Everybody and their mother was telling me, don't move to New York because of this, don't move to that, blah, blah, blah. It's been nothing but a benefit down here, man. It's been nothing but beneficial for me. Nothing bad happened, but you hated it. Okay. Did you, do you hate it because you just stayed here too long and you're kind of like, oh, I'm over it, I'm out of here. And you just want something different? I mean, because that's really not a reason to hate something. I mean, you just, you just, the the area you lived in just got played out and it's time to go. I, I, that happens to me. I got, I got bored in Alabama. I wanted to get out, Nash fill it up, you know? Yo, Putin is wilding right now. Putin is wilding right now. Like, how you gonna be mad that they blew up your bridge, but you built that bridge without that country's permission on some on some hateful shit, and then they blow it up during the war because they know that's gonna hit hard, and now you mad. I don't know. And that's a, that and that you know what's weird about that too when people say, you know, just mind your business in New York. People don't mind their business. I've had so many, not to sound corny, but I've so many, I've had so many lovely conversations with people. Like, and I'm not saying they don't mind their business. People definitely mind their business in New York, but it's one of those things where it's like the amount of talking that people do down south, like, like that fake politeness, you know, and you have like, oh, how's the weather? Da, da, da. It happens here too, but it's almost like realer. It's almost like not that like, oh, okay, I'm stuck in this elevator with you, so let me just be fake nice like you would get it, that, that kind of energy down south. Here, it's kind of it's kind of like real. It's kind of like, I was in the elevator one time and the guy was like, going to work, huh? <laughs> like, yep. And yeah, it sucks. I'm like, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, all right. Well, let me know how it goes. All right. And I get, like, it's funny. You know, like one time the subway train stopped because some idiot jumped on the on the train rails, whatever. So this, it stopped for like 45 minutes. We were in the dark in the subway for 45 minutes. And we were all just having funny conversations. It's just like, it's like people mind their business, but they don't. Um, and what I learned a long time ago is when you see like violence or like crazy stuff happening to somebody, it's, there's 8 million people that live on the island of Manhattan alone. 13 million people all together, in, including like the boroughs, like Brooklyn, Queens, and a third, so 13 million people all together. Like it's people stacked on each other, just people stacked and stacked and stacked on top of each other. So you can't be Superman every day. So when, when, when people say mind your business, I, I get that to a certain extent because it's like, the times that I have back when I used to live in Brooklyn, the, the times that I have like tried to help a young lady like with her abusive boyfriend or like, oh, you know, oh, no lady like, hey, you want to like take my seat? Here you go, blah, blah, blah. Like 
the girlfriend yelled at me, told me to mind my business, even though the guy's like holding it, like, show bitch, show, like, like really abusing her in front of like, we're all like, oh shit. And I said something like, hey man, stop that. <laughs> mind your fucking business. She went off on me. I'm trying to help her out. And then the time I tried to help out an old lady to sit down on the train, it was like, hey, you want to sit down? You know, she, had, she had bags. She looked old, all that. She was like, no. I was like, all right. All right, I'm going to shut up and I'm going to stop being a gentleman out here in these streets because they don't want that in New York. So when I'm on the train, if there's a seat that's open, I'm sitting and there's a whole bunch of pregnant women around me, old ladies with weak knees, you know, really suffering out here. Keep your eyes open, ladies. When you see a seat opening, you better rush for it. Cause it's gonna be me. Boom. Get out the way, lady. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm, 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 I'm being too uh, exaggerations. Um But I will say this, the train right now is like I don't know if you saw it on the news, but it was like a bunch of women dressed up in like neon green like outfits and they were like being they beat up some some random girl and uh they didn't think they were gonna get caught and they caught every single one of them they're all in court going to jail it's hilarious there's a lot of people in here there's a lot of people in here and i, I didn't think there's gonna be that many people in here it's like i'm teaching a class of 17 college students. <laughs> oh my God, this laptop is killing me right now. Okay, back on it. No? Can I see the comments on here on my phone? <sighs> Today's kind of like a dreary day. I don't know, like, I, I wanted to do another video, but, oh, here we go, it's back, it's back. I have a, um, a Five Guys video that I decided that was on my wife's channel that I originally was going to put on here, so I might do that, unless you guys want to go see me and my wife eat Five Guys on her channel, Doji Foodie, so... Don't worry, man. College, college sucks. College is, especially in the United States, unless you're going to go be a lawyer or a doctor, you don't need college. You don't, okay? Go on to the work world and get a job, especially nowadays where there's everything's remote. You don't need any college experience. Nobody's checking for your college degrees. I don't know one person that is using their degree, including myself. Oh my God, I've been talking for 45 minutes. Okay, you know what? Get the vlogs back? I know, I know, I know. It's, it's hard because This is why it's hard. Everything right now that people want to see is with their camera like this. And the algorithm that's booming right now is TikTok. If I make a vlog for YouTube on my vlog channel, it's gotta be like this. And I know I can get my wife to film like this and I film like this and then we I do TikTok, she does YouTube and then we do a vlog but then it's like I kind of have to like reset everything it's like all right first bite TikTok and then like hide the bite turn the sandwich over all right first bite while she's like filming like this you know then I take another bite so it's, like, it's just one of those things where it's like 
I don't want to start all over. It just... Every time I do a vlog, and here's the, the classic, the classic, like, selfish reason. Every time I do a vlog, it doesn't blow up. Nothing happens. No, no love. Nobody wants to see it. But when I do a TikTok or I do like the upright videos like this, they blow up. Especially my YouTube shorts. They, they blow up. But, you know. It's almost like, here's, here's, my, here's the way. Oh my God. Chinita. Chinita. Way to come 45 minutes late, yo. <laughs> Get it back and I won't, I won't skip the ads. Thank you. Here's the thing. My, my life right now when it comes to social media, this is how it works. I'm getting comfortable with just filming all the time, right? So the main priority is TikTok because that's what's booming right now. That's what's growing. That's what people want to see. Then I take that same TikTok, YouTube short. Then I do a video like this on YouTube. Yo, my laptop is trash, yo. My laptop is trash. I need a new laptop. Everybody cash at me money for a new laptop. <laughs> for a new laptop because I am so, this thing keeps turning on and off. Do I need to update this? What's going on? Leah, how's your day going, by the way? How's everything? How are the babies? How are the babies? How's little Chunk Chunk? Do I need to name the other one too? The, that, the little one, little Chunk Chunk. And then, what am I naming the other one? You don't need sleep. You have kids. You can't sleep, but if something happens. Uh, I love, I, you know what the, the best part when Leah or anybody else, any other influencers jump on my lives? is how many of y'all know them already. And everybody's like, hey, Leah, hey, Chinita. Hey. It's the funniest thing. I love it. I lo and vice versa. I love jumping on to other... Let me see. Yeah. Sleep is fun. I don't sleep very well now, and I don't have kids. So another reason to have them... They know you, girl. They know you. They know you. My butt hurts on this stool. So I'm just going to stand up and tower over y'all. <laughs> like this. Oh, my God. Look at that. That's a nice angle. It's a nice little angle. Yeah. Megan knows you. Megan knows you. Like my waffles, wolfless. Are you not gonna start doing like collaborations with your kids on social media? Kind of like you should do like Moonlight Eats style. Remember back then when she would just put like her kids on social media like all day, every day? Are we still boycotting Moonlight Eats? Let's talk about, hey Leah, let's talk about <laughs> hard pass. Leah, let's talk about all the influencers that we don't like. Who, would, who do we like anymore? Moonlight's done, right? We don't like her. Why, do we, why don't we like her anymore? 
I remember you told me a while ago, but I don't remember. <laughs> I'm making a little waffle. A little waffle. What? What do you mean, oh my God? She's not on here anymore. She's not on YouTube. What's she going to do? She ain't going to do nothing. You know who came up on my recommendations recently? Um, Paige Alicious. Just came up under, under my recommendations. And it wasn't even like a food video. It was like um, it was like a doing my makeup video. It's weird. I clicked on it, you know what I mean? Show support. You know? Even though... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not starting stuff. Yo, yeah. Do you remember when... Do you remember when... I remember Hungry Lips. Do you remember when Sweetie Snacker changed her channel name to Hungry Lips? Y'all remember that one? That was hilarious. And it's crazy because I love Sweetie Snacker. But she went through a good, like... Wait, wait, wait. You know what the deal was. Because you were the one that it involved. Whoa. Whoa. Drama, drama, drama. What drama? Between who? Between me and Moonlight or me and Paige Delicious? Ow, shit. Where's the white hippopotamus? Who's that? Oh shit. The wafflers aren't. The wafflers aren't warm and soft anymore. Dolce. Oh man. Is this. Is that Paige Delicious? Is that. <laughs> is that Paige Delicious uh, hating on my wife right now? Man, see, we, we talk about Moonlight or Paige Delicious or Hungry Lips, and then they, they, they hop on the live with um with with their uh, anonymous profiles. <laughs> Anyways, they're blocked. We're not on there anymore. We took care of it. I gotta fix this fucking. I gotta fix my tripod here. Oh, no. oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Or, um, oh, thanks. My dog is the best. Mm. Or, remember when Sweetie Snacker, and this is crazy, started doing questionable videos, like Hungry Lips for a little while? Oh, yeah, I know. I know she is. She's the best. But that's what I'm saying. See, the key to this social media stuff, right, is this. If you want to see if people are still hating low-key on you, um, just start mentioning old drama and people that you don't like. And then... um surprisingly how often do haters hop on my life never do i know they're watching yes do i say certain things out out loud 
to make them reveal themselves, boom. You got real talk though, I don't have no beef with nobody because I don't actually know these people. Leah, listen, I know you a little hood rat, all right? I know you the hood. I know you a street chick, all right? You don't got to get on here and get all hard, all right? You grown. Don't come on here trying to buck up on folks. <laughs> Peachy Panda. Peachy Fudgin Panda. You know what's really weird? You know what's really, really weird? Um, a lot of these, like, Peachy Panda type people that I used to follow back in the day, who, like, let's be real, they're, like, college students or, like, teenagers. Um, I'm still subscribed to a lot of their channels. And out of nowhere, they'll just, like, upload something. And, I've, and it'll be, like just a random video of them and their like boyfriend or whatever. And it's been like 10 years since they posted anything. And they look hella different. I'm like, damn, that's that person? Hungry Lips is still active? No, she's not. Let me look at this out. Hungry lips. Oh shit. 369 subscribers. What? She did a video one month ago. Hold on, hold on. Yo! Damn. All that stainless steel appliances, but no furniture, no nothing on the walls, just completely empty. That Hungry Lips money ain't hitting like it used to, right? Damn. Who else? Give me somebody else to look up from back in the day. Guam and Rab. Oh, man. They, they were like, they were like, they came into this community though, and then they left. They came in for literally like a year and a half, and then they stopped. Guam and Rab. I heard like they had a falling out, right? No, I miss forever eating. <sighs> Guam and Rab. Let me look that up too. Let's see what happened. Two hundred and forty-four thousand subscribers, and their last video was a year ago. Man, that's sad, yo. Forever eating, forever eating made a whole new channel. Forever eating mukbang. Yeah, she made a whole new channel. And here's the thing. Because Forever Eating was big from like 2013 to like 2008. I think she dropped her. I think she deleted her channel in like 2018 or 17. And she was gone. And then in 2019 or something like that, came back out with a new channel. And it, it did not hit. Because it has 647 subscribers only. So not even 1K. And she did one video. Oh, no, she did a bunch of videos. She did, she has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She has 11 videos on here. Skip. 
skinny white girls from Iowa. Who? What are their names? Who are the skinny white girls from Iowa? I'm looking at my old, here we go. Oh, um, Gabby and whatever, the, the Delfino twins. Yeah, they still do social media, but they don't do like, they don't do, uh, they don't do uh, eating videos anymore. They literally just do, oh yeah, the can-do's. Wait, who are the can-do's again? That's that, who's the, who are the can-do's? Many good channels going on. Lexi Babe. I don't, I, I don't think I ever watched Lexi Babe. Yo, my my Wi-Fi is bugging again. Jesus. It's like y'all are seeing me okay, and I'm not. She's a cam girl? Hmm. That's not. She's not cute. Who else we looking up? Yeah, the Delfino twins, by the way, um, they still like show me love, like on Instagram and TikTok. And stuff. They they they're still around and everything. They're all they're all they're super grown now though. They're um, I think they're all moved out, went to college. Um, I don't know. If, I think I think they're both lesbians. I don't know. I don't know. They came out recently. I think I don't know. We should. I mean, we're doing it right now, yo. Yeah? Oh, yeah, the can do's. What about that? What about that couple from Canada? The Ralphies? Aren't they homeless? They find a home yet? Leah's problem is we'll just be doing this and Leah will be like this is awesome we need to do like an official thing as opposed to just enjoying the moment we're never gonna do that Leah we're never gonna like make a list come up with a program an official name artwork get the thumbnail you know a time schedule and then when we do it what's gonna happen it's not as fun anymore it's not as uh, 
fluid as we'd like it to be. Like, here's the thing. Leah and I, our friendship is like, when we're just on it, we're on it. When we're just cackling back and forth like a couple of drunk buddies, we're just on it. Like, we're good. We're like those... We're like those friends when we're teenagers getting high in like the basement and we're like just saying funny shit and we're like, yo, we should record all of this and post it. Like, that's what we are. And then we just never do. All right? We're funny right now, girl. We don't need to like make a whole event. <laughs> but I, I feel you though. I feel you though. Like, I'd be feeling the same way. Leah and I together are hilarious because she's super smart and funny and I'm super dumb and funny but I'd be saying I'd be saying smart shit like I'm smart but I'm not smart I'm not smart you are great girl you know, who's telling you you're not great ain't nobody telling you you're not great I'm not smart, I'm lucky. I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Rocky, come here. Oh my God, come here, buddy. Oh my God, come on, come on, come here. Come on. Arroz con leche? It's not ice cream, it's arroz con leche. I still do watch Jeff the Music Man. Uh, I was actually on one of his videos recently and I said hi to him. Uh, I, I like Jeff's old stuff. Um, his new stuff is okay, but I, I definitely like the old stuff where he's like drinking a Coke and he just pours a huge Coke with like some ice. You know why I like those videos? Because Jeff is about maybe 10 to 15 years older than me. And he comes from that Generation X uh, generation. <laughs> oh, how the turn, oh, how the turntables have turned um and it was when like coke was like really popping you know so everybody drank coke all the time so when he drinks coke that's his childhood and he appreciates that coke and another part another drink that was big for him was milk he would drink a big old thing of milk on video and i'd be like what is he doing and i'm like i'm an older millennial so I caught the tail end of when everybody was just drinking Coke like it was water or drinking milk like it was water. Like, you know, remember those days? I mean, people drinking milk with like their dinner. We having like spaghetti, with, like garlic bread. Oh my God, I'm so thirsty. You get a big ass glass of cold milk. <laughs> oh my God, girl, see what I'm saying? Hood rat. Hood rat. I thought you meant coke. Like, I'm. Just, you got some? I mean, don't tell my kids. Leah, stop doing coke, yo. Uh, yes, we do miss Hitachi Boy. We do miss Hitachi Boy, and I, I am upset at the fact that we're never gonna know who this man is. And I guarantee you, he has social media. Hitachi Boy was too much of a talker. And too much of a, like, he needs this. You know what I mean? I know he's, I know he's got to be on social media. He's got to be on something, right? He's got to have, like, an Instagram. He's got to be on YouTube. He's got to be doing something. I know he is. 
I just refuse to believe that he's not. I don't know. Damn, I've been doing this for 70 minutes. An hour and 10 minutes. I wonder if, like, I start posting. Because there's, like, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Taki boy dads. I am going to Oh my god. Look at this dude. To Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh yeah, Hapa. I forgot about Hapa. You know Hapa is now currently a a very Republican Christian um, vessel of God. Did you know that? Did you know that, Leah Chinita? Yep, she is. She, the way I found out was, so we're, I'm friends with her on Facebook and she'll post every now and again. Am I friends with her? Was it Facebook or Instagram? I think it was Facebook. Her personal one, her actual legit one. And she started posting, you know, do I got to say it? You know, we know how those types do. They don't say it, say it, but they like, you know, I'm so sorry for the blah, blah, blah events that I currently, but, but they shouldn't have, da, 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 da. you know what I mean? As a person of God, I just feel like blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Like that type. So. I feel like all I do now when I go on live is I just talk shit about old <laughs> YouTube influencers from back in the day. Who's next? Let's, start, let's talk about people we like. You know? I'm going to start. I like Hapa, though. That's the thing. I like Hapa. But that that yeah that part that's my favorite thing by the way i don't know if that's a thing up here but it's definitely like saying that part like the words that part that is definitely a at least from my experience that is definitely like a southern like african-american girl from the south phrase like I, I remember my last job down south we'd be cutting it up you know at work Saying this, then the third, and this girl Coco I used to work with, she'd be like, ah, that part. <laughs> That's my brand. Oh, man. I kind of hate that, but love that at the same time. Okay, I'm getting up again because my butt hurts. Now, you know why my butt hurts? I'll show you why my butt hurts. I'll show you why my butt Because I have a small New York apartment, and I can't afford to have a kitchen table with regular chairs that are comfy so i have an island that we use to prep food on but we also used to you know eat on and i have these that's my butt mark and i have these because they fit underneath the the island conveniently because it's all about convenience where i have a small new york apartment uh. Is it just you and me in here, Leah? Is that what's going on? 
Is everybody screenshotting and video recording all the stuff I say? So they go and show, you know, Hapa and Moonlight Eats and Sweetie Snacker and Hungry Lips and the Delfino Twins and all them. Is that what's going on in here? Is that what everybody's doing right now? I'm trying to get, trying to cancel me. <laughs> Hitachi Boy, man. I'm going to, you know, when I start, you know what? Let me log on to my YouTube. You know what? I am going to get on here. Ooh, Akumi. Hello, Nixon. Greatest president ever. Um, Hataki Boy Daz. And I'm going to post all his videos that are from like other channels that have just recorded Hataki Boy stuff and post it on my community channel, community tab, and see if any of my new subscribers know who this man is. And we're going to find him. Someone find this man. Someone find this man. Hitaki boy Daz. Boom. One down. Several to go. Oh my god, I'm not doing this right now. Oh, there are only three. <laughs> I can do it right now. Okay, let's see. Someone There you go, there's that one. And one more. Ooh, he's eating a sandwich. Of course, of course the, the Wi-Fi has to bug out at the last one, right? The last one, right? What are we saying here? Thanks, man. I like my dog too. Let's see. one someone find this man talking boy does done nothing's gonna happen we got we gotta find him and encourage him to come back right that's what we do around we're forcing people to live lives that they don't want I already do it enough with Leah. I already tell her what to do all the time. What's another person? You know? <sighs> yeah, German Shepherds are the best, yo. Rigo is here. Leah, what are you doing right now? Are you at home? You really do do what you want. Nothing. Can't tell you nothing, girl. Is this is this what you call work? Is this what work means? Well, I'm going to hop, but the reason why I'm asking, I'm going to hop off here and just call you real quick and bother you. You'll pick up. You ain't working for real. You used to pick up when I would call you at your real job. When you had a real job at the office, you'd pick up. Hi, how are you doing? I'm working right now. Hey, hold on, hold on one second. Rumbling, rustling, rumbling, rustling. 
And then he made me go, hey, what's going on? I'm in the bathroom. What's going on? I remember. I remember those days. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, because this, this whole, my computer's not working very well, is, is bugging me. And it's annoying. So, I'm about to get off here. I tried to only do lives for 30 minutes, and I'm over here doing like three 30 minutes. You know, I'm over it. So anyways, guys, thumbs up the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for having breakfast with me on my day off. And we'll see, we'll see you later, all right? First world problems. Bet.